the internet. We do hope you enjoy your stay. And if this doesn't fix it, then I guess we're just going to try and push through until it gets too bad to do so. Everyone still with me? And all right, that was the regular 45 to 60 frame loss that happens when we first reconnect. All right, uh, anyone who can hear me, please tell those who cannot hear me that uh, they can refresh now. And now we'll continue and hope for the best. That's right, you gotta refresh, uwu. Alright, so, last we left off, so long ago, we were trying to build a lever. Like that System of a Down song. So let's talk to people first. Oh wait, we already built the lever, never mind. There isn't I guess we're fucked. Potion or something that could help us? Is there? That's not how potions work, Jesse. Although I should really look into that. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Jesse. Thank you, by the way, for getting arrested with me. No one's ever done anything like that for me before. You're welcome. Now go away! All of this opening up is making me grossly uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Ivor is basically Sue. <laughs> Habits of the Enderman by Soren. Wow, how'd that get here? How mysterious. Hey, it's a view. Let's look at the view. Wow. It's so big. There's not a series of like gashy runes on the ground though that uh say gorgeous view ahead. Weird. Not my gorgeous view. All right, let's let's use the lever. Ooh, I can sit on the throne. Let's do it. Jesse, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See anyone? Gorgeous view ahead, yeah, therefore try blocks. Very nice. Place, so it's hard to tell when people are coming. We shouldn't hang around. Got it. I'm glad you're okay, by the way. Huh, <laughs> thanks. Me too. Or, you know, what most things say in, or what most messages say in Dark Souls. Try finger, but whole. I am not exaggerating when I say most. Here we come. Well, this is a fun minecart track. This absolutely looks like something Alice would make, right? Except hers would keep wow, going forever. Look at all these chests. Yeah, and they're all. Creeper, zombie, sheep, pigman. Curious. But what does it mean? Uh, let's try opening up this sheep chest. It's an egg. Eggs? The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot? Sheep egg. So the Eversource or whatever is creative mode? It's unrealistic that there were mine carts available. A sheep? Is is that a monster? That is not so bad. Oh, that's it a good one, Christy. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. 
So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. The Eversource makes these spawn egg things. Stay on your toes. We're close. Ah, I can't wait. Same. <sighs> Let's take a look around. Ghast. Zombie. Pigs. Pigmen. Sheep. Blaze. Spiders. Slimes. Ghasts again. Pigman again. Zombies again. Multiple rows of chests. <gasps> that is such a good fade out and fake out and made me cry a little. The Eversource is a chicken. What? Yes. The spawn eggs. It's so simple. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's the Eversource? It's a good Eversource. So the chicken lays the eggs, and the eggs make monsters, and the loot from the monsters made this place. Well, throw it in the minecart and let's get out of here. We're still taking it, right? The chicken that the entire city depends on? Are you sure that's a good idea? What are you talking about? We need to bring it to the people. With it, we'll finally be free of the founder. But that clucking thing is what we came for. Mm. Do we give it to the people? Do we leave it here? Or do we take it home? Up to y'all. Free the means of production. <laughs> Ivor said the fuck word. Very free the means of production, yes. All right. Sounds like sounds like that's the way to go. Milo's right. The Eversource belongs to the people. What? I thought that was the whole point of this adventure. <gasps> oh, hi. I knew it. I knew you were here to steal from me. Ah! Uh, pain! Oh, she's too fast! Just give me a second to catch my breath. Hey! Don't you dare hurt them! Says the trespassing criminal. It's just like I told you, Founder. They're here to steal the Eversource. Classic Order of the Stone. Peg. You don't say. What? No! Don't believe them! You have the wrong idea! Shut up, criminals! Ugh, shut up, Aiden, Aiden! Would you just shut up already? And I'm supposed to believe the escaped convicts? Aiden warned me that you were a pack of thieves, and here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our Oh, yeah, I mean, Milo's modeled after Che Guevara, right? When you put it like that, I almost feel bad. Yep. Afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. Mine. Wasn't exactly what? a nice guy. This is outrageous. Aiden, don't do this. Somebody order eggs. Oh, that's a creeper. I've got Aiden. Save the found oh, You got me, Lucas. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's another important one that I want to leave to y'all. Save the founder or go for go after Aiden. Ooh, this is a this is a rough one. Uh fuck. Um These are all good responses. Go after Aiden. Can't we hit Aiden with the Founder? I don't think so, no. Alright, well, we got that vote for Aiden.
I trust Lucas to do his best, but also fuck the monarchy. Just go get Aiden. All right. I got your back, Lucas. Stay down, Keep Lucas. This. Oh shit! I missed. Now you better run. That was not frame loss. That was how it looked on my end too. Well, she's dead. Dude, he just ran away and then ran back just to kick me. Achievement unlocked. Out of the blue. I mean, kinda. Thanks to you, we get to see what really happens when you fall off the islands. Hey, you can't pin this on me! This is your fault! Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Trusting the blaze rods, hiding the Eversource. I didn't do any of that! Oh, hey, there's the cloud hmm. layer. I can't decide whether I want our death to be painless for my sake or excruciating for yours. It's okay, there's no such thing as surface tension. Land! Impossible. That's impossible. Jesse? There! Can we and get that's in time? It's Ivor's skull thing. That's that's the, the lava from his skull on the bridge. I still have a pumpkin, by the way. So everything was a lie, is what we've learned. Pull out your boat! <laughs> also, that sheep is here. So used to journey map, you thought it was a waypoint. there being no ground I had no idea how how could I have known <sighs> this has been down here the whole time I forbade anyone yes this to cow has been down here the whole it time was too dangerous a, a lost cause I just don't understand why did you never even look send someone down dry land is a myth oh god it's a water I, I world too cautious I didn't want to create false hope, and I was so certain that the only thing down here was death. It's all just so enormous, just just grass everywhere. I can barely process what I'm seeing. What what do I do now? Once my people see this, I I have a lot of planning to do. First things first. We're gonna go back up there and kick Aiden's butt. Fuck yeah. My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. Not at all wrong, Bad Road. Ah, oh, shit. They're all falling and on fire. What's going on up there? Aiden must be going crazy with those spawn eggs. Monsters everywhere. This is going to be bad. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden. My poor subjects. This is terrible. I'm doing it. But not for you. For my friends. I... Yes, yes. Of course. Thank you, Jesse. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let me see what we've got to work with. Hmm. That'll work. What is it? It's a montage. Jesse, get ready to build something huge. Maybe the biggest thing of your life. What do you mean? We're going to build a tower of dirt. 
all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Just clear the chunk. Okay, that should do it. Jesse, what is that? Ooh, it's the portal. It's the other half of the portal that brought me here. That world portal. That's how you go between servers. Got a city to save. Ready? I believe Man, it's so. a good thing for this and middle finger in the middle I of the ground here. Those blaze rods limb from limb. I'll wait. Come on. Like Sky Shitty, am I right? Go, go, go! Don't stop! Look out! Haven't we fought enough ghasts? Whoa! That was crazy! You okay? <gasps> what have they done? Hell yeah. What is going on here? The city is under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. I don't understand what Aiden gets from this. Aiden on, wants to look like a hero him. back in I'm our sorry, world. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? He wants all and the best loot. Well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. Seems like they've just given up on the combat system. Fine, it wasn't great anyway. Yes, are super cute. You are very quick on your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. Quick version? You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. You speak truthfully, my friend? Just just aim for the water when you jump. Hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. We'll see you on the other side. Leaping speed or invisibility? Ingredients. I'm gonna go with speed. Gotta go fast, y'all. Give me a potion of speed. Here. My name is Jesse Allen, and I am the fastest block alive. He said it. <laughs> Can I punch him? Oh, I could have punched him. Damn it. Get down and get out of my face, Reggie. You're delusional, Aiden. The people of Sky City will never bow to you. You killed the founder. Yeah? 
Well, you're gonna be next if you don't shut up! Now you listen here! I'm the captain of the guard! You can't just talk to me that way! I'll talk to you however I want, Reggie! This is between you and me, Aiden. Leave Shh. Reginald out of it. I saw you fall! You went down! You're alive! You're alive! He's the founder with you! Oh! That's not ideal. What the... Reggie! Not one more step! I killed you once! I could do it again! You thought you could just kick me off the edge? Unfortunately for you, Aiden, I'm pretty tough to kill. It's a good just day to be hard to kill. Already. Chance. How about I go right instead? Aw, ah! thanks, Mox. Ah! This was supposed to be my world, and you ruined it! Listen to yourself! That's insane! Why couldn't you have left well enough alone? Get out of here. Get back here. Oh, look at that. Let's kick him off the edge. Wow, just just making me slowly approach, huh? If I have the option to kill him, I'm totally doing it. You just can't stand to see someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. Oh, it just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, I am going to kick your butt. I can't wait to see you try. Gonna kick him right in the voxels. even hit me. He's too slow. Wait, wait, wait! Hang on! Hang on! I... I, I surrender! I surrender! We can talk about this, right? Here! Here! You want your flint and steel back, huh? Take it! It's yours! Just, please... Don't hurt me. Yeah, he's gonna attack me as soon as I go for it. Or, surprisingly, not. Jesse, we need to get out of here. What do you want to do with him? Please! This place is getting worse by the minute. You can't just leave me here. Take me with you. After everything you've done, I'm not sure you deserve that kind of mercy. No, 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 come on! You can't just leave me behind! You know, if you leave, I said if I got die. the chance, I was gonna just I throw him off. The good guys! Aw, oh, come on! No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, that was harsh! Hey there, Ardolan69. Welcome to the chat. He tried to fight me. Hey, wish I could have seen that. Minecraft is a pretty intense game, you know it. You retrieved the Eversource. 
Yes, ma'am. Everyone, stay together. Seriously, though, Jesse, fuck that guy. Jesse, the situation is getting out of hand. We simply can't stop all the monsters and protect my people. The longer we stay here, the more danger my people will be in. I guess we could jump for it. The waterfall. The waterfalls can take us to safety. What? Are you crazy? The waterfalls will just take us into the void. We'll die if we fall down there. But there's nothing but monsters up here. Do you want to die? Because that's what's going to happen if you stay up here. Everyone just watch me and follow my lead, okay? All right. Let's go. Don't worry about it. Truth. I saw the land as well. In fact, I will prove it to you. Ah, wait for me! <laughs> Lots of just tossing people over the edge today. Waker underscore sploosh dot mp3. You are lying. There's crown everywhere. Jesse, I cannot thank you enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary. Well, let me tell you, Reggie. The first thing you need to do is go get yourself some wood. How, uh... How do I do that? You find a tree, and then you just start punching. Yeah, I hear you, Christy. Those were some interesting clips. I wonder what happened to Aiden. Stop right there! You're not going anywhere, Aiden. I'm done. I'm done. Now, this is just speculation, but... Well, he said he's done. Stick a fork in him already. Or a sword. I knew they wouldn't get away. <laughs> what goes around comes around. Am I right, guys? Attention! Huh? Attention! Hello, hello, everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky! It is time for us to run free! Build whatever we please! Wow! Those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Bah! I'm sure I do look like a naive idealist through the eyes of an oppressive dictator. Hey, both of you! Fighting isn't going to I think they're both kind of naive. Really they both win. spent their whole oh, lives on that island. You think that way? No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. Jesus, we Milo. Trust in ourselves. Be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build. W what do we do? Who are we supposed to listen to? Of course the people can build, but we need a system, some rules. Rules aren't bad. Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan. But you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things. But you got to be safe about it. I suppose I... Sonic says... Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse... I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. 
I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. The day that Sky City was liberated. This is a second chance at making a civilization. Don't waste it, okay? I don't intend to. I give my solemn oath. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but she's all right. Eh. I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess it's okay. We, we got our own crazy guy. Too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. It's been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh! Just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. That would be the case. But luckily, you had me as your advance scout when I was on the ground with the founder before. I totally found the portal! And you didn't say anything? Yeah! I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Huh. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on! Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. It looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable. You won't eat her, right? <laughs> but that was a given. You're not going to eat her, are you? Don't be morbid, of course not. After so long being the founder and the ever source, now we can just be Isa and her best friend. Oh. Benedict. Ah, that's a boy's name. <laughs> what a closed-minded attitude. Yeah, Ivor. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. <sighs> Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? Oh, I just saw those pigs and, you know. Oh, yes. He would be really happy to know you're still having adventures like this. It's See? a telltale it's game. Like you gotta you. have downers. One portal Just back all home. the time. Ooh, what a huge relief. I was worried we'd be stuck here forever. Ugh. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No! A little. Hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Lloyd stocks no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Well, then you'd have a chicken with a tiny crown. Wait till Axel and Olivia hear where we've been. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting. Oh good, most people let Ivor's house stand. That's about a 50-50 split. Ooh, most people saved the founder. Alright, good stuff. And I'm gonna let the uh, credits roll real quick while I take a quick sabbatical to the other room and then I'll be back. Don't go anywhere.
Well, thank you, uh, Frame Drops, for waiting until the credits. That was polite. Let's see. She doesn't mean weed, in case you were worried about that. Why would I be worried about weeds? They can get everywhere. Joe, right up through your floor tiles. Oh, you're right. Malicious weeds. Tell Annie to stay safe. Don't get lost in the tall grass. I hear wild Pokemon uh, live there. So, you know. It's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a Bulbasaur. All right, here we go. Episode six: A Portal to A Portal to Mystery. Yeah, we've got a real unsteady signal right now. Well, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. You know, I had to, I had to force myself not to make that reference, Bad Road. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Yeah, I think that was all the important things that happened. Nothing else happened, right? So, in this episode, we see, or we meet the tube heroes. Which some of you may have seen before in Walmart and Target. As a very unsuccessful line of action figures. Of YouTubers that are semi-popular amongst small okay, children. Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, spores, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. <clears throat> uh -huh. There sure are YouTubers in this. Definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> oh, come on. Can't you hear it? The spooky forest? It's the sound of a new adventure! I bet this place Why is isn't there awesome. a spooky biome in Minecraft? Right. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. Nether's not spooky that and neither is the swamp. There needs to be like a graveyard biome. No, I don't think they would have followed us. They had a lot going on in town. We'll get home and With, they'll like, be haunted castles they and shit. All this. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? That's a book. Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. Are we sliders? Yes. This is exactly what sliders is. It says invitation. And then, read immediately, your life depends on it. Ahem. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler. Yep, that seems about right. Keep breathing, Jesse. We've got your back. I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah, weird, right? Wah! It's fine. <laughs> Hit him with a book. Uh. 
Dust. Any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on. Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it. Come to my home on the hill. Just Relay reading. Ah. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. You think this host is gonna be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. That I don't see why legit. they wouldn't be. The invitation and everything seems pretty legit. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, that's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh yeah, I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. You pick up that excuse at the same place you got that haircut? Because they're both awful. Hey yo, oh, got him. You work up an appetite, Petra. Because you're about to eat my dust. Oh, big words, Jesse. Aw, they're flirting. are so fucking adorable. Bats, Jesse. Ah. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh, well, that was going to happen one way or another. Oh, crap. I was reading the chat. Get out of here. You hear that too, right? Almost sounds like a waterfall. A waterfall. A fodder wall. A very big waterfall. zombie archers with those skeleton archers. That's not a real thing. No one liked my Winnie the Pooh reference? Maneuver 66 is just making a staircase. We're almost to Canada. Very nice. Nice. Yeah, nailed it. Okay, okay. You won that one, Jesse. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? A 
front door's definitely a no-go. <gasps> Stick with me, guys! Very action-oriented so far. Well, hi there. The heck? You're clearly what? wearing the Enderman you suit. You just gasped. Well, like you'd seen something. I think I saw our host. He had a white pumpkin for a head. White pumpkin? No such thing as white pumpkins. No the such thing as white pumpkins. For inside, okay? <gasps> Great! There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? We could dig through the wall. Nope, can't go back that way. There! We should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees! We can cut those down. Good plan! Now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, <laughs> you never know when those will come in handy. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. That was a sex joke. Looks like there's some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place. Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. Cube wife got wood. Wow, some kitchen. Hot dog, you know I don't care if you took it. <laughs> I'm telling you for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. Uh, what the? Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. Now, this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for, like, hours. It's rude! Wait, wait, wait. This isn't your house? Ugh. Prepare no. to see a Polite. bunch of people you might no, have heard of in passing ten years ago. This, either. this is Tork Dog. Sup? And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though, maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles? I've got, like, nine million fans? Captain Sparkles? Are you saying that with a Z? Petra! Show some respect! The man's a captain! <laughs> yeah, I actually have no idea who you are. Oh, really? Like, no idea? Like, none? Nope, sorry. But, uh, my name's Jesse. That over there is Lucas and Petra. And they say all their dialogue so... in YouTuber voice, too. Jesse? It's a boy's name. What are Rude. you guys anyway? Some sort of <clears throat> loser patrol? Talk dog. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. Let's just stare. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh-huh. Talk dog. Cool it. That sea of zombies has us all trapped. So we just need to try our best to get along. Getting some Worst good quotes tonight. Ever. Just try and look on the bright side. I hate so much about the way you choose to be. Hmm. All these other people as rude as you. Watch yourself, little dude. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, <gasps> Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. Good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons. Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? You from like out of town or something? A little bit. Oh, wow. Do you hear that? Ooh, voxelize. Who touched my foot? Who touched my foot? I think it stopped. But what's up with the lights? Is everyone okay? Everyone, dive for cover. <gasps> <gasps> oh, good. He's dead. Hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here.
you've got a, a boy's name. I wonder what he says if you take the boy character. Ah! Torque dog? Torque dog? So I'm guessing calling yeah, he's Gibson about as funny as a pile of shit. Ivor. Not classy. Got it, got it. Sparkles, I hope this isn't an insensitive question. But did you do that? What? No. How could you say that? All those arrows, his inventory, everywhere. How did that... Who? One minute he's alive, the next... Gone. Poof. Sparkles, I know you're freaking out right now, but you've got to pull yourself together. Okay, okay. You're right. Woof. You're right. Yep, Everyone's he's very dead. dead. Let me see what I can figure out. Hope the this world spawn isn't is too far why away. What is happening? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Ah. Ooh. <sighs> no, oh, no respect for that guy. Guys. Found something strange about this arrow. Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? <sighs> mm. <laughs> Smells like. Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're. they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows, the possibilities are fascinating. You say you know about these tipped arrows. Anything else you know that you're not telling This must me. be a beta server. You're not implying what I think you're implying, are you? Or because I had test nothing server, to do nightly with server, nothing. whatever you call it, the servers Sorry, that constantly I saw update to the new one doing the a tutorial builds. on how to make those not too long ago. My nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. This whole thing I don't is know. I think they might just not be terribly bright. There's the trap door that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. <laughs> Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Everything okay in here? Whoa! Hey, it's someone else we won't recognize. I, uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay. Hang on a minute. It's you. I recognize you. Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? Oh, really? Because I've never seen you in my life. I'll show you. Follow me. Um... Okay. This isn't going to be creepy or anything. Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. <gasps> the kitty's if the best YouTuber here. If first it was the of the people already here, then poof. You guys. Whoa. That's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not perfect. <laughs> it's got a clown nose. Perfect. Must have been when we showed up. Flattering how well they captured our likenesses. Some of us. What are you talking about? Yours looks just like you. This is so ridiculously creepy. Right? At first I was like, oh cool, fan art, flattering. But the more I thought about it, Creepy is definitely right. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Oh, let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Can't wait to hear the big news. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. They all just sound like they're talking directly into a camera. Come on, Winslow. Except her. She's alright. She does some good voice act. Here, let me introduce you all properly. 
You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. You said there was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Torque Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. Just... I want to know what happened. For curiosity's sake. Why do you care so much about Torque Dog's stuff? I was just... I was just wondering, okay? I'm, I'm a curious person. So I'm looking at this situation, I'm trying I've to... I've already forgotten out. everyone's is name. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Except Am Torque I Dog, because they won't stop beef? saying it. Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. What, like you think he deserved it? Well, that I'm being a noir detective off, now. But, uh, I don't know, maybe? He was an asshole. Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my I gosh, love that portrait in the right. back. Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hunting us? Hey, I don't know what kind of danger you guys are wrapped up in, but we just met you, so... I'm thinking this isn't my problem. Well, uh, we're all stuck in this house now, so it kind of is your problem too. Oh, all of this danger talk. Has we my could just leave queasy. the house. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie, psst, Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. I think they might have a contract for merchandise. Especially if we're going to be stuck with these people until dawn. Sounds like we've got a mystery to solve, people. Luckily, Detective Jesse is on the case. Let's get investigating, then. All right, I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Going to take an actual BRB now to get dinner started. So I will see y'all in just a few.
All right, I'm back. I did a super, super quick and dirty uh, dinner prep, so that'll be done cooking very probably by the time the stream's over. So, you know, good stuff. Let's get back to fucking with YouTubers. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. How's it going? Yeah, find anything out yet why Torp Dog was, you know. I'm sure some of these people are perfectly fine, fine folks. There's definitely something strange going on here. I'm just getting a bad feeling from the whole thing. Yeah, I'm with you. You should keep questioning people, see what you can find out. You guys have any theories about what's going on? I think Torque Dog did it. Nothing concrete yet, but Lizzie and Dan over there seem like they might be hiding something. I was developing a theory that Sparkles was in on it. But even I have to admit, he just seems too nice. True that. That's a good lead. I guess Sparkles is Thanks. known for being nice. I actually just wanted to talk to you guys first. Check in on how you're doing. Oh. Um, we're fine. Yeah, for the most part. A little weirded out with this whole situation, but other than that, I'd say we're fine. <clears throat> Very kind of you to ask, though. I'm going to keep asking around about Torque Dog. Good luck. Yes, happy investigating. Oh, I can't talk to the cat. That's lame. Hey, Sparkles. And... Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? She's starting to sound like she's talking into a camera too. Her dialogue was so good a second ago. Cassie, you seemed pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? I have a few guesses. Uh, gosh, gosh. Um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about she a guy was that's going to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. He was fucking him, too. There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that, especially now that Torque Dog is... You know, he was it's fucking weird, Lizzie right? too. Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um want to get into rumors or anything like that. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow. Thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. All these people it's are or at one time were real YouTubers. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie. Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this Torque Dog situation. Yeah, go ahead. The story mode wiki is the first result. Ouch. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical talk dog. Like I said, there was a whole line of uh, action figures based on these characters that no one bought. They were in, like, Target clearance bins for, like, months, and people weren't even buying them from there. So, this rare item that Torque Dog claimed to have, 
What can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. If okay. I die, I'm gonna have my last words be Torque Dog is a terrible name. It seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Including an arrow to the knee. Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torque Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up. Found out that like fuck Torque Dog. Torque Dog. some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. It yeah. was the leather pants. Something's not quite adding up here. Stampy Cat and Stacy plays. See, I thought the cat was Stampy Cat. Hey guys, Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello. that's Stampy Cat hey, and Stacy plays. I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, but what? What? Stacy, you seemed pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm-hmm. Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Yeah, few I don't hate him, but I happen to know I everyone noticed, else here did. A bit of a yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. So, did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Sturdy Cat? <laughs> right, right. I'm going so with Sturdy Cat. Out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well known thief. A thief, huh? Well, that might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare. But it feels like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can it was shed a light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity has peaked. He already had me at rare item. Why is everyone so secretive about this thing? Because it's a he... dildo. It just makes sense. There's a temple way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it. The temple of the dildo? Forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks <laughs> Deep in its just basement. like an ordinary I get it. steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds. Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? Hey, I'm just a really good guesser. I was just putting pieces together. I don't really have any idea what you're talking about. Uh, not to be cynical, but I'm not sure I believe you. But I do think I'm starting to figure out why we're all here. The temple tripped and fell on the treasure. Honest. Everyone? <laughs> Everyone? Oh, that's cake. Whoever killed Torque Dog. It's no dildo, but it's a start. They're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah, sparkle? He's dead. It's fine. We got rid of him. He knew that we knew about the flint and steel. We're the murderer. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. No, you are clearly the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I, I rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. Oh, 
AB. His hair changed color again. Well, she's dead. Her and her cat. So much for a nice dinner party. You don't like the sound of that. Literally saw a pumpkin once IRL. I've seen quite a few actually. Shut the door, shut the door. No, no, let the kitty fight them. The kitty can kick their asses. I guess we're pulling the lever. Come here, Winslow. Don't be scared. So we're stuck in here. And if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed. I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Oh no, now Sparkles has an X on him. Now we've got a pattern though, well, that means Ivor is next. I guess I'm next then. Nope, not happening. Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. I appreciate that, Jesse. I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical he does make cool traps. The white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. Redstone, mostly. All right, I'm going to investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. <laughs> okay. Ivor's the best. How are you doing this, white pumpkin? I don't know who any of these people are except Professor Snape. They're YouTubers. Okay. So this was the dining table. Most of them washed up. Right before. Oh, that's true. Snape is also a YouTuber. He's on uh, wizardtubechannel.youtube.net. Man, poor Sparkles. Crushed under sand. Oh, really nasty way to go. Eh. This looks like the exact spot where the white pumpkin appeared. But now... Just a portrait. Unless. Unless. It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for a voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Can I punch wow. the, the armor stand? The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. It must have been a diversion from whatever was going on in the room at the time. What, like you think the White Pumpkin was in the room with us? Oh yeah, he's a YouTuber. Okay, let's give this no a shot. No one died yet. Just like before. Alright, so who was sitting here? I... And the white pumpkin. Yep. One of you Just like is before. the treasure I desire. And I will not rest until it is oh, mine. I can hear Risby. Even if I have to resort Dream barking down the hall. Jesse! Torque dwag. Wow. Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A white pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? 
The trap that killed Sparkles. The whole show with the white pumpkin. It was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that we can figure out the white pumpkin's identity. Whoever had access to the button must be him. Wait, so you're saying that the white pumpkin is one of us? His hair changed That's color right, again. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? We need to pull together all our evidence and see how it connects. That tipped arrow means the White Pumpkin is a master brewer, and the trap? Shows that he's a real redstone expert. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means that the white pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I mean, Why I'm accusing Lucas, too. Exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. This is crazy. No, we're just going to leave this one in silence. The evidence is rather incriminating. Thanks, Ivor. Yeah, well, your face is incriminating. Got I'm him. in charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to Don't tell any of them, but I'm the white pumpkin. So I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I've got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Stampy. Because he says he's a cat, but the other cat is a cat and he's not. Stampy cat. Is that a furry? Jesse, I think the actual I'm cat is this the is white pumpkin crazy. bee. Absolutely crazy. Total misunderstanding. I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Not um as much as the others at any rate. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for old Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you. It's me, Stumpy! He's Everyone's trying real friend. hard to improv. Oh, please stop with the staring. You are <laughs> killing me here. I like Sparkles. He was the best of us. He was great. And I'm sure Talk Dog had friends too. Please just tell me what you want to know. What do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Well, well, you know, about average, average level, moderate. I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. I know that Dan's been getting really on a scale into from stuff one to ten. Though. Just putting that out there in case you're curious. Dan's interested in redstone, huh? Know anything about this? Oh, wow! What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yes, yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. 
You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Oh, There's a torque dog on this YouTube, but it was apparently nervous. made after the fact, like to steal brand awareness. Ouch. Maybe he had a different channel next? name. I mean, it's possible that these YouTubers had their YouTube personas created specifically for the product line. Can you send in Dan, please? Right. Hey, I don't know what Stampy told you, but I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've Hair color changed me. again. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and still everyone's talking about. I found That's that. That's actually That's a possibility, Xenon. It's all viral it. marketing bullshit. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps. Everyone accusing and blaming each other. I'm just gonna do this with everyone. I, I, I just can't believe this is all over my enchanted flint and steel. I'm not the white pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions. Nuh uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'll ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. He's one of two newly introduced human characters in Episode 6 who is not a real-life YouTuber. Gotcha. That makes sense why he didn't seem to exist. So, how would you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Triblock champion. And why they're Weird. so willing to talk Stampy shit about him. You were pretty into redstone. <laughs> what? No, he's got me confused with someone else. I'm sure of it. Now, Lizzie, though, I've seen her do some amazing things with redstone. Between you and me, I wouldn't be surprised if she was the one behind all of this. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, obviously. She was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. You can go now, Dan. Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. And when you talk to Lizzie, don't forget to ask her about those crazy magic arrows. I bet she'll know something. Want me to send in Lizzie? That'd be great. Thanks, Petra. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't it's know the enchanted believe, flint and steel, which it. we have, I by the way. I love enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much there may be one per Dan? server or something. Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose. So aggravating. Hang on. I thought you said you found it. Well, I as good as found it. I did the research. I did the studying. I was all prepared to go in there and finally get it when that little goggle-wearing goon swept in and stole it first. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. Oh what God, we are we mediating YouTuber drama. Jesus Christ. Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Some noob. What? Yeah, I knew what a tipped arrow was. I'm a good brewer. Doesn't mean it's mine. I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those ages ago. No? Because everyone else seems nah, to Nah, because they've got 9 million subscribers. What? Nothing's going to happen to them. Did you have a point with this line of questioning? No, I'm just here to piss you off. I'm just going to be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. That's true. Captain Sparkles me, is dead for real. I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is He's a back at the world spawn, I probably. I still got it. You like using redstone? 
ever make traps. If you die in the game, you die on YouTube. Fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the Tribot champion. So I've heard. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Oh, come on! This is nuts! You had a button, too! Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. That's true. Let's, uh, question Lucas fairly. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. It's been rough. These people have so much drama going on, it's hard to tell what's about the flint and steel and what's about the white pumpkin. Well, I know you can do it. <laughs> Thanks, that was a Lucas. very poignant quote right there. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the white pumpkin really is? Now, hang on, hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jessie? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. All right, who do we think it is? Lizzie, Stampy, Dan, or not sure enough to accuse anyone? Obviously, we don't actually have enough evidence to say for sure. The butler. All right, that's not an option. The first person you meet. All right. That was uh that was Captain Sparkles and he's dead. We know Mr. Green was a plant. Hey yo. Oh, you think that it was Captain Sparkles all along and he just accidentally just killed himself or he faked his death. All right, I'm going to say that we're not sure enough to accuse anyone unless someone wants me to accuse someone. We didn't see him die. That's true. Lizzie, Stampy, and Dan are our options. No one's going to call any of them out. I think it'll be fun to accuse Stampy. All right. Having talked to all the key witnesses, I think it might be Stampy Cat. No, that's crazy talk. Absolute crazy talk. Of the suspects, he's the one with the redstone chops to make all these traps. No, 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 no. You can't really believe this, can you? I'm thinking we lock him back in that library. Hold him there till morning. Sounds like a good plan. Sorry, Stampy, but we can't take any chances Oh, come here. on! I'm Stampy Cat! Mr. Stampy! I'm no white pumpkin! <sighs> that was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the white pumpkin is still roaming around, though... I can't believe be Ivor is gonna fucking die. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work... We might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. However the White Pumpkin did it, he must have done it from the kitchen. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? Conspicuous white pumpkins lying around? Stampy's a redstone expert. There's gotta be something in here that can prove he was involved. Got it. I'm on the lookout. It's a good painting. Kiss the creeper. Does this painting have eye holes? Oh yeah. How'd I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. 
It's, some it's a good thing she had auto jump on. Very clever. What do you suppose that lever does? Okay, everyone. Make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. That's what done it. Those potion covered arrows. Nasty. Well, seems like we found out how the white pumpkin killed Torque Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well, after you then. I hope Stampy's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Unless Stampy is the White Pumpkin. In that case, we're just keeping everyone else safe. Yeah, I guess. I just hope we find what we're looking for. What do you think that is? It's eye holes in a painting. But look, a lever. Don't pull it. The amount of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place. Amazing. Ivor, no. What do you think I am? Gents, I was just looking at it. Oh, good. Thanks <laughs> for the vote of confidence, though. Aww. See anything that this lever might be connected to? Well, thankfully, Ivor won't remember that, because we weren't told he would remember that. Hey, it's that rabbit painting. What do you see? It's the library. I can see Stampy locked up in there. To you. Ah, oh, shit. What are you doing here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Uh, Lucas? But I have to speak to you. It's really important. It was me. I killed Sparkles. What? You're the white pumpkin? Oh, what? No, 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 no. I swear, it was an accident. But, but, Dan, accident? Really? Ooh, I swear, I had that's no a clever idea. trap. There was this button. I'm not good with buttons. I had to push it. And I had no idea what it would do. Now I feel awful. Well, it's just... That's a little hard to believe. I know, I know. It sounds ridiculous. I've been beating myself up about it ever since it happened. And then you got locked up in here? I just had to come in. It's a good color, B. The white pumpkin! He's in there! Then let's go kick his Well, now we know it's not Dan or Sparkles. Or Stampy. Getting them mixed up still. What, what on earth? It's the cat, isn't it? Those didn't look like human eyes. That lava is encased in glass. It's okay. got uh, arrow dispensers pointed at it. All right, we're going after the pumpkin. There he is. Oh no, Dan's dead. He had a diamond too, and diamond minecart. Nope. 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 You know how I got these scars? That's my cue. Daddy was a pumpkin. Come on. And a fiend. Jesse, are you okay? You have to break through. <laughs> Try 
Yeah, let's get out of here. Take it, soul sand keeps you from running. Your luck's about to run out. <laughs> this is a good animation. Now we know it's not Lucas. Lucas? Jesse. All right, that is clearly not the white pumpkin. Lucas? Hey. Wasn't he just downstairs? Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. How did I turn out to be the white okay. pumpkin? Yeah, this looks pretty bad. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was. And I almost had him until, you know, he took me by surprise and stuck this pumpkin on my we head. We literally saw them what? in the same room, What's Jesse. You cannot here? possibly uh, think. You called the white pumpkin. Grab him, quick. On it. Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. Come on, you guys, think about it. Lucas would have never had the time. That's not exactly much assurance. You two have been constantly running around this mansion with no one watching you. Yeah, for all we know, maybe you're his little accomplice or something. It's the facts, Jesse. Little accomplice? Look at these shoulders. only started happening when your group arrived. And now... Dan is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside? Outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Now, hang on. I may still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse saved me. It just wouldn't feel right to throw your friend to the googlies. Stop saying googlies. Brave stance. <sighs> Thank you. See, you all heard Stampy, right? Fine. <sighs> Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? You okay with that, Lucas? Well, <laughs> I'd prefer not being locked in a closet. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Why'd you have to say it all awesome. sinister? Come on, Cassie. But don't go I'll watch over Lucas. Long guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No. Babaka. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay. Well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir-crazy. The White Pumpkin must have a, I don't know, a lair or a base of operations or something in this house. We need to find it. Sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, I ain't interrogating these fucks again. Classy. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like, uh, sounds like the onions in, uh, in Dark Souls.
How are things with you? Oh, you know, just peachy. Stuck in a house with a masked killer. One of my best friends is the current top suspect. No, I, I feel you, B. It was really nice of Ivor to step up like that, though. Didn't think he had it in him. Yep, Ivor's awesome. I'm glad he's on our side. Me too. Okay, well, I vote we get back to it. Don't want to leave poor Lucas in that closet for too long. Oh no, I have to talk to them again. Seriously, it does pick up again after this chapter. Stampy, you've been proven innocent, but I've still got questions for Lizzie. What? You can't be serious. Where were you when the chase with the white pumpkin was going on? Trying to mind my own business? Sitting quietly and counting the seconds till I could leave? Terribly stressful sounding hobbies, really. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll leave you guys to it. What do you want? You've been pretty aggro accusing Lucas. This He's whole suspicious. this whole episode is Not a weird tonal shift. As Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? Making cookies. I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. Don't go anywhere, Stacy. <sighs> sure. All right, let's punch the painting. I'm fine with the murder mystery. It's these YouTube Whoa. characters. Another They're just passage. not one of them has any personality except Stampy. Well, this looks promising. I wonder what order these need to be in. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I don't hate it, but I'm not... I'm not into it either. All right, so. Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. Obviously, the order is arrow, sand block, cobweb, right? Because that's the order that the traps went off. Hmm. Yeah, that seems right. There we go. Awesome. Torque Dog did have a personality, which oh, was bad. You gotta open. Yeah, you guys should stay here. It could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? You haven't it? proven that he didn't yet. Technically true. Hey, we're gonna prove he's innocent. You'll see. Yeah, sure thing. Can't wait to see all that proof you're obviously going to find. Come on, Petra. Thanks for having my back. Wow, that is deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the White Pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the White Pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not yeah, mention, all of them are trying to... Have been so un all the YouTubers are trying to improv, but they're not doing a great job of it. Now that I think about it, this would be damn decent if it weren't for the YouTubers. Exactly. They're just... They are shoehorned in in the worst way. The narrative is fine. Grateful. So petty. Ugh! It's just so frustrating. Hey, Petra. I understand, okay? I'm with you. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. Aww. I just really needed to get that off my chest. They're so we're cute. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Yeah, you she got lots boss? of wood. Those are sticks. Sorry, I was whittling earlier. I just have it. <laughs> well, luckily, those should do just the trick. That was cute. So now we can make ladders. You thinking ladder? Ladders are just sticks, oh, right? Yeah. 
gonna need a lot of them. Well, fortunately, you had a lot of wood for Jesse. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. Racer for the wood. I'm I'm not going to stop. <laughs> Done. Don't Oh man. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, anyway. she's blessing. Right. We've got a lot more of these to make. Hey, Andy. Let's get to work. Ladder montage. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. <sighs> also, these two are flirting like crazy. See? Told you we'd make it. All right, I'm going to call it right there because it's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are, etc., etc.? And we are just starting the uh, second half of this chapter. So good stuff. Thanks everyone for coming. Tomorrow is uh, episode two of Tale. The, the campaign Katie is DMing for Community Days for Xenon, Christy, and Mox. Thursday will be Alice continuing the build of the Lepin 20076 bootleg trash beetle. Friday is Katie with Under Hero. Saturday morning is Christie's Wild Card Stream. Sunday evening will be Sue with more Mother 3. Monday will be Christie with... You said you were going to do some one-off. Uh, yeah, no, no, way yet. All right, she doesn't know what yet. And Tuesday's back around to me with more Minecraft Story Mode. Once again, thanks everyone for coming. You can see our team and our schedules below on the page. The schedules haven't been updated in a while. I got to do that later. But yeah, thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for supporting us. And thanks for just being awesome and watching. So uh, good night, y'all.